From the golf course to the runners, throwers, and jumpers, we're now joined by North Central track coaches Kerry Kluckhong and Frank Gramoroso. Kerry, the first three events your team has taken part in, three team victories. How happy are you with the athletes kind of making that transition from indoor to outdoor? Sometimes you see a little bit of a lag, but it looks like you guys have performed really well. I've been very happy with how we've done. Um, weather has played a factor in some of the decisions we've made as far as putting people in the lineup or pulling people out of the meet um, completely as the weather has changed or pretty much not been very good. So actually I'm very happy that we've won, <laughs> won all three because we've actually gone in with conservative lineups mm -hmm. with all three meets that we've done so far. And what are some of the factors that you have to kind of deal with when dealing with that weather when this outdoor track rolls around and lineup changes and things are seem to be changing on the fly? Well, the good thing is we have a, you know, a, a full indoor season. You've got a plenty of competition indoor, mm -hmm. um, great training environment. So they have a great base coming from their fall to their winter training. Um, and then obviously competition and indoor. Um, and really when you get to the outdoor season with weather, you know, early on you just have to be a little bit careful. I mean, at the, any point at conference it could be 80 degrees or it could be 40 and, or it could be 30 in snow. So at some point you have to be able to compete in that. But early season when your, your volume of work is a lot higher as well, you need to be a little bit more careful and really just comes down to a individual basis. You know, as I see people warm up or talk to them about how they're feeling, mm -hmm. um, you know, most girls want to go no matter what, but I just, I usually take the conservative route when it comes down to rain and 30 something degrees. <laughs> For sure. And uh, some names that we're really familiar with here on the show, uh, making some noise early, Amanda Lesh breaking a school record. Sheila Walsh has a provisional time on the 400. Kayla Murphy adds to her repertoire, uh, adding the javelin throw once we've gotten outside. So a lot of those big hitters uh, doing big things early. Yeah, Amanda is running excellently. I mean, she's, she's got her school record in both the 10 and the 5 for the outdoor season. Mm -hmm. um, she's ranked in the top two or three in the nation in both the 10 and the 5. I mean, to run sub 36 in the 10,000 the first night out was amazing. It was a really great 10,000 race, but um, you know, 440 in the 1500 as well, she's running great. Um, you know, Sheila is running very well as well. Our 4x4 four four has run 353 already um, as well. So they've hit a provisional. She's provisional in the relay and in the open. Um, and yeah, Kayla's just, you know, very strong athlete and very versatile person. So we put her in the javelin at times. So she's doing really well. Definitely. And we move over to your men's squad. Uh, really come out of the gates hot as well, taking those first three team titles and those first three meets. Uh, and a lot of variety of events uh, contributing some points. Yes, we're uh, running great if we can uh, handle this weather here. I think indoors, you asked me how valuable the indoor track was for the indoor season. And it, it was great. Now it's even more important and better because we can get some things done in the indoor track mm -hmm. for practice that we can't accomplish outside for training. We're still missing these competitions though with the weather and just like uh, the women's program trying to piece things together at meets and be cautious and careful. But you know, with the depth that we have across the board, it, the points add up and we're victorious. But uh, we're really trying to build to the conference championships and beyond. And uh, as you look at your roster, it seems like the usual suspects have been yeah. doing their thing. Mike Spain already with an auto in the 10,000. Dan Bitten in the wrong, longer sprints and the pole vaulters, those guys really haven't missed a beat at all. Yeah, they're uh, struggling a little bit with the weather and competition and the wind. It's a totally different sport outdoors mm -hmm. when you add the elements. Uh, but they're doing some very good training and uh, they're coming along. And we're as the weather warms up, I think things are going to really heat up for all the events for us. Who are a couple guys that kind of have emerged, maybe once the outdoor season has started, maybe names we didn't uh, really hear too much during indoors? Well, we know that Matt Borchard was injured indoors and then kind of sprained his ankle again the first week of outdoors. And he's coming along and he's going to help us in the jumps on the conference level. And if he can get strong enough, I think he may be able to get back to the high jump. But his uh, uh, dream of the decathlon kind of went down the tubes for outdoors. So mm -hmm. he's just going to concentrate on some individual events. But there's always some emerging young guys. Uh, we're really strong in the sprint events, and I have to make some decisions on what younger guys can move up, especially for the conference level. Uh, but you need that big stable of uh, sprinters to help out. So um, there, there are some new names coming, but the big ones are still there. All right, well, we'll have to see. Kerry, you have a roster that we kind of talked about during the indoor season. has a good mix of uh, some veteran leadership and a lot of really good young talent. How has the senior class been uh, as leaders for some of these young freshmen that really have seemed to put up some really good numbers once we've gotten to outdoors? Our senior class will be greatly missed when they graduate. So we really value the time that we have with them. You know, 
even like with the conditions that we've had, you know, with, with training and being inside, outside for training, um, changing up our meet schedule, they've been very balanced and been able to really stay stable and be great role models and leaders for the for the women, the younger girls, to be able to learn how to handle the college environment. And, and a lot of times in high school, you kind of race no matter what, mm -hmm. or you may have two or three meets a week. And, you know, the, uh, the older women really help those younger women understand why we make the choices we make as far as pulling people out, maybe missing a meet, um, and just, you know, being really looking towards championship season, like Frank said. Really, May is the big time, you know. The training is really important now, but once you start racing the end of April here and then the rest of May, that's what really matters. And you kind of beat me to it a little bit there, you know, and all about it seems about peaking at the right time. CCIW's in a couple weeks. How do you oversee that training where, you know, your athletes are hitting those high marks when they're supposed to? It, just, it comes down to them doing the right things in the summer, the fall, and indoor, so mm -hmm. they can actually be where they should be for the outdoor season. You know, Frank and I, you know, do a lot of communication with the athletes and being able to, and all of our coaches, um, it's wanting to help them get to where they, they need to be, but they have to do the work. And if you put in the work in the months ahead, then you're able to peak at the right time. If you, if you don't, then usually you see people kind of, you know, faltering towards the end. And we're, we're both known for being able to put it together at the end of the year. And Frank, one of the uh, themes when, you know, scanning down the North Central track roster, you know, you, you see a lot of athletes, obviously, which you guys have a lot of coaches to kind of handle that load. But you have a handful of football players on your squad, a lot of guys that play on the defensive side of the ball. How does that timeshare work for these guys that it seems to be a win-win relationship for, uh, for the athletes and really for the coaching staffs of each sport? Yeah, we wish we had some more, and we're still trying to combine our recruiting efforts. Uh, there's some great uh, athletes in school that uh, don't commit to the track season, but I'm very flexible with them. You know, football's come a long way. They mm -hmm. have spring ball now, and I'm pretty flexible with having some of the athletes go out there and ultimately it's Division Three. There's no athletic scholarships. If they choose to try to do two sports at the same time, uh, the risk goes up for injury. But, mm -hmm. you know, some of the guys are just out there on the sidelines learning some plays like Joey Michaels or Hurdler and Stu Charles and even uh, uh, by Kaba now is kind of on the sidelines for football. But okay. they're really interested in track and they are really performers. So they're working hard in track. What I'd like to have is some more throwers, some of those big guys learning uh, some of the throws. But I'm trying to be cooperative. Uh, the, some of the days of their two and three sport athlete has gone by the wayside, mm -hmm. but we still have a couple that really want to be in both. So we're accommodating uh, their schedules to try to work that out. It seems to have worked out really well. As we look at the schedule, I know it's been fluid. So some things have moved around, but the next event on your schedule for uh, the squad is the prestigious Drake Relays. I imagine your guys get up pretty big for that one because a lot of great competition, a very big event, and I know uh, last year you guys put up some good times in the relays there. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. I just found out today, well, actually last night, it wasn't posted till like 10.44, but I was in bed by that time. <laughs> so this morning after the morning practice, I checked, and our four sprint relays uh, ha have been declared. They're in. Four pole vaulters made it in, and Mike Spain's going to run the 5,000 meters, which is a combined collegiate and university event. So okay. there's 30 entrants, and he's the only Division Three 5,000 meter guy in that event. Good for him. Uh, what we're missing is our distance relays. Uh, some of our 5,000 meter, 10,000 meter guys are going to go to Hillsdale okay. for a meet, and then everyone else still has to get a mark uh, at Benedictine mm -hmm. uh, to get in the conference lineup and to get in the right section or heats uh, qualifying round. So we're relying on that meet at Benedictine for a lot of our middle distance and some distance events. So we didn't enter long relays, you know, distance medley, four by eight, four by one mile. We didn't enter those at Drake this year. Okay. And uh, Carrie, as we look ahead, conference meet here in a couple weeks. What are one or two things that you see with this squad that you guys need to improve on before you take part in that? We, we need to, uh, to be able to finalize a few of our last spots in a few of our events. Okay. And this weekend we're going to Northern on, uh, on Saturday since we're not going to Oshkosh because of weather issues up that way. Um, so I'm trying, hopefully we'll see where we are in a couple of our events. But then next week the same thing with Frank. You know, we really have some people that we don't have open times on yet because of the weather and pulling mm -hmm. people out. So we really need to be able to see this week and next weekend who's going to make our final lineup and if we can tighten up a couple of our areas to be at full force for conference in two weeks. For sure. Well, guys, good luck uh, down the road, and we appreciate you coming by. Also, we're praying and hoping that the weather gets a little better yeah. for your squads. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. Well, we're going to take a quick breather, but Clark Tusher joins us just after the break as the Cardinal Report keeps moving along.